you guys, what's up? It's me, Catherine, and in today's video we are going to cover a very tricky, very highly requested topic. So first thing first, know that you're not alone. A lot of young actors struggle with this problem and that's why I'm making a whole video on it. And this issue is convincing your parents to let you be an actor. In today's video, I'm going to give you a couple of tips, some advice, and basically how to convince your parents to let you try this whole acting thing out. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name's Catherine Steele and I put out a new theater related video on every theater Thursday plus I do bonus uploads throughout the week so if you're new to my channel and you haven't already and you want to go ahead and hit subscribe that way you get notified for all future videos and you get to join the theater Thursday fam first we take over Broadway and then the world you can follow me at Kath underscore steel on snapchat Twitter and Instagram also just so you know these tips totally apply for theater actors and screen actors but without any further ado Let's get into the tips. So the first thing that you need to understand is that you need your parents on your side. If you're under 18, you're a minor. That means that if you wanna do a show, if you wanna be in a film, you're gonna need their permission. In addition to all that, you want them on your side. It'll very quickly become really tricky to hide it from them. It's added stress for you. Plus they're going to be really upset and sad when they find out that you've been lying to them. So save yourself from all that negative stuff and take my tips instead. The key to getting your parents to let you be an actor is communication. Understand exactly why they don't want you to become an actor. Are they worried for your financial security? Are they afraid that your grades will slip? Do they think that it's too expensive? Are they afraid that you'll be heartbroken by rejection? Is it too much of a time commitment? All of these things are very specific, very real reasons that parents aren't cool with their kids acting. But once you understand what the problem is, you can map out your plan to combat against it. So very calmly ask your parent why they're not in to it. Try to keep your cool and show that you're being an adult about this. Because nothing undermines your maturity more than throwing a temper tantrum or crying or just kind of generally freaking out. Once you understand the problem, figure out how to fix it. For example, let's say that the problems are grades. Strike a deal with them. Promise that you have to keep your GPA at or above a certain level in order for you to continue acting. It's a scary notion, but just make sure to keep your end of the deal and you'll have nothing to worry about. So another important thing is to only promise what you know you can do. That's just one example, so figure out the problem and map it out from there. Another key negotiation tactic is to show that you're serious. Bring specific reachable goals to the table. Make sure that they're not result oriented because 99.9% .9 of the time in this business you can't control the outcome. Another big way to show that you're serious, do your homework. Research all of the community theaters in your area and research what shows they're doing, when the auditions are, when the performances are. Have the contact info for the film departments to every local college in your area. Doing student films is a great way to build up a resume. Have the name, contact info, and pricing for all of the teachers and coaches in your area. Another big tip, start small and be realistic. Your parents are more likely to freak out if you ask for four private dance lessons a week, plus an on-camera acting workshop, plus a super expensive summer camp, $300 character shoes, plus $400 headshots. That's a huge time and money commitment. Instead, try something like one voice lesson a week, plus a community theater audition. That sounds way more reasonable. Your parents are way more likely to be okay with that. In that same vein, set up a practice schedule and stick to it. Work on your monologues, work on your stretching, whatever it is. That way your parent can see that you're committed to this. Another big thing to keep in mind, if at the end of this your parents still aren't feeling it, don't freak out. Don't yell at them, don't cry. Try to keep it together. And here's why. If you blow up at them after they say no, then they're going to stick to their decision. But if they see how mature you're being and how seriously committed you are to this, they might be willing to compromise. Another big question I get asked is how to convince your parents to let you major in musical theater or in acting. Or how do you convince your parents to let you have a career, not just doing this for fun? Well, first off, all of the tips that I mentioned earlier totally apply to this. Try to figure out why they don't want you to major in it or why they don't want you to have a career in it. Figure out the root of the problem and go from there. If they don't want you to major in musical theater, theater, try minoring in it instead, or in performance, or acting, or something in a related creative field. Off the top of my head, I can't think of any schools that would let you double major as a BFA musical theater with like 
political science or medicine, but maybe it's there somewhere. If that's the case, do your research, see if you can find that. If they're really not budging, major in your non-creative thing, but then take classes in addition to that. Take private coaching, build your own program. If you want to have a career, don't go full-time right away unless you absolutely financially can. I think that's where most parents freak out. They don't want you to be like broke and staying on someone's couch. So start small. Try to find financially viable jobs that you love, or at least use your creative talents to some degree. In addition to that, on the side, start building your acting career. Try to keep both jobs until it makes total financial sense to go full-time as an actor. Because here's the thing, most people that I know who are successful actors are juggling two or three jobs at a time. Most people have like a coaching business where they do voice lessons, and they also do voiceover, and they're also an occasional guest star on a sitcom. So also keep that in mind. So there there you guys go, those are all my tips when it comes to convincing your parents to let you be an actor, plus some added career advice at the end, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what that just turned into. I'm really dehydrated. If you guys liked this video or if it helped you out at all, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't and you'd like to, hit subscribe. You can click right here on my face. Like I said, I put out a new theater-related video on every Theater Thursday, plus bonus uploads. I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so much. Break a leg, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Click on my face. Take over Broadway, then the world. Bye.